This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Kathy Ireland, Wedding and Resorts. Aloha, I'm Lanai with season seven of Cooking Hawaiian Style. Thanks for joining us today. We got a very special guest, my good friend, comedian, actor, Algi Toba, is bringing on his good friend, Chef Greg Christian, talking about cooking, comedy, and we're gonna have a good time sharing some local recipes. So let's get cooking. When you're living on the island, such a diverse Hawaii, when you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea we're cooking hawaiian style Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the kitchen. Chef Christian, Greg Christian, how you doing? Are you gonna shake my hand? Oh, yeah, I'm glad, yeah. Augie <laughs> yeah. Toba, up, how, how you doing? Good, good to man. see you. Why are you guys here today, Augie? Well, you know, I took on a new job working for the Lieutenant Governor and we teamed up with Greg, the uh -huh. Department of Ag, uh, the DOE, yeah. and what we did is a pilot program in Kohala. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, you remember one of the things that I, one of the the first week that I worked in the Lieutenant Governor's office, he was like, I want to send you to a cafeteria in Kohala. Uh-huh. And you know how excited I got because <laughs> my first crush was a cafeteria. Yes, <laughs> and I remember we talked about that and she called. That's right, she yeah, called. She's about 80 years old, by the way. <laughs> That's perfect for Augie. What's yeah. up, Miss Kinoshita? <laughs> anyway, so I was really excited because I saw something was different and unique, and Greg was in there uh -huh. working with some local aunties you know, out in Kohala. And Greg, you can tell a little bit about that exciting, experience. Huh? It was exciting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was new to Hawaii, yeah. so I didn't really know my way around. Everything came out of a can, didn't it, for school food? Mm -hmm. It's mostly packaged food Yeah, today. so today you're going to try yeah. to change that and share everybody with what you're doing. And right. we're going to go back to the basics, aren't we? Yeah. So what are you making first today? We're making chicken adobo sliders. Oh, <laughs> boy, you green that? papaya Well, your first lesson was chicken adobo. Okay, so right. what do we need? Uh, we need some chicken. Okay, yeah. we got some chicken Definitely here for you. Augie, pass me a spoon. All okay. right, do we need to turn this on? Yeah, let's turn the fire All on. Right. Yeah, we're Augie, how some... did you get involved with the lieutenant governor? Uh, you know, I was doing a program with uh, the mayor uh -huh. on the Big Island. Uh, we were the school kids, and then uh, uh -huh. after his uh, his term ended, uh -huh. I got a call from Shan to see if I wanted to come out and help out with his REACH program. Okay. And so one of my first excursions was to go out to Kohala. It was funny because, uh, you know, when I saw Greg in there teaching local aunties yeah. how to do things differently, because like he was saying, yeah. everything was, you know, you can or packaged, and some there cutting the food. Yeah, yeah. But the most important thing was the fact that the kids and the community had an input on what they wanted to eat. That's important. Packaged. So how many pieces of chicken we got in there? We got four chicken thighs. Four in chicken here. thighs. And I'm gonna right. add some soy sauce now. Okay. How much garlic did you put in there? Oh, well, we put two cloves in, but I'm gonna add about four more. Okay. So we got about six cloves of garlic in there. How we, much show you? Maybe a cup. All right. We got some. some Aloha show you in there. And of course, we're going to put all of the ingredients on our website. Everyone has their own version of chicken adobo. Even Augie has his own oh, no, version. This, this is an authentic. Is this yours? Look at my, come on. <laughs> Rarely do you see an albino Filipino <laughs> sharing about adobo, so. All right. Must be the garlic. Uh, what, what, what did we just put in there? Vinegar. Yeah, we put, I, the ideal vinegar is coconut vinegar from okay. the Philippines. All right. And I use cider vinegar today. Cider, okay. So there's a little more garlic in there. You can't put all too right. much garlic. Yeah, of course. And uh, oh. peppercorns. Oh, that's the magic right there. Yeah, yeah maybe like 15 peppercorns. 15, right? pe you know, if you eat adobo and you get the peppercorn, what is that? Good luck. Okay. <laughs> I always thought it was like a pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got we just got the fire on we high. We got the fire, fire on high. And okay. Then give me some bay leaves there. Bay leaf, okay. of course. Oh, okay. It's one of the yeah, important things. Yeah, yeah, one yeah, and yeah. a quarter bay leaf. And then this likes to be uh, simmered. Simmered for a couple hours, yeah. hour and a half minimum. Now, what's the biggest you made so far? Because you got a lot of kids. Oh yeah, well we're cooking for 500 a day. So you so, gotta do a five, can you imagine what the school yeah. smells like? Oh. And give me some water, Augie, please. You gonna put a little okay. bit of water there in there? Yeah, there no, the go. kids, they couldn't believe it. See, they wanted chicken adobo. Yeah. Maybe another cup of water, right? Okay, one cup of water. And the ladies, Priscilla, the head of the cafeteria said, what about a chicken adobo slider with green papaya slaw? That sounds awesome. So that, man? We, we got the uh, chi actual chicken adobo that we pre-made, yeah. the magic of television. Look at that. And it comes huh? look like that. Right. So what are you going to do with this when it's done? You're going to shred it? 
Yeah, we're gonna shred it, take the bones out, okay. lay the skin out, and then put it into a, a, at the school up in Kohala, we make our own bread. Yeah. So we make a, like a two ounce burger bun, Uh huh. you know, and then put it in there with some green papaya slaw and eat it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna put all of this together. We're gonna shred the chicken, we're gonna get the slaw going, and then uh, you got some other dishes you're gonna make, right? Yeah, we're gonna make some spaghetti yeah. and meatballs and some fruit salsa with chips. Okay, what was the, when the first time you ate adobo, was it with him? No, I uh, I was married to a Filipina for 20 oh, years. Oh, nice. smart guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, what a smart guy. So I taught her how to make it better, yeah. you know, because I'm an <laughs> I taught her how to make it better, he's <laughs> You're not married to her anymore, huh? No, we're good friends. <laughs> yeah, that, no, we're really good friends. That was the first problem. Yeah, All right, when we come back, more with Augie and Chef Greg. Don't go anywhere. It's cooking Hawaiian style. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Elena's Filipino Foods. The new Otani Hotel on Kaimana Beach. And family food. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. I got my friend, Augie Toba. I got my friend, Chef Greg Christian. And he's making adobo sliders. Now, we, uh, we started that before we went to the break. Uh, you, we gave you all the recipe. We'll put it on our website. It's almost done. You shredded some here for us, right? Yeah, and I'm going to make a sandwich real quick. Yeah. We've got some papaya slaw Isn't happening that here. Oh, Look at that. Thanks to Augie. And I like to put some green onion in there. Papaya. Okay. And a little lemon. Try not to get... Don't let all those seeds in there. Get the seeds in there. Okay. And maybe a little salt. Salt. Right. A little pepper. pinch of pepper. And then Just mix it around that. like that. That looks you know, good. This is the real thing here. Yeah, okay. So it feels like papaya. And, yeah, we're doing. Uh, yeah. You're doing almost the ripe papaya, right? I'm gonna just put yeah, this on the spoke, side. Yeah, green papaya, ripe papaya. Everybody likes it a little different. Break up some buns for you. Yeah, and then we're gonna make a quick slider here. Okay. And then I'll take some of that, Augie. Okay. You know, right. Ah, that right. looks good. And kids in Kohala eating this food. Good job. So what are you making next? We're making uh, some red sauce. Okay, okay. some red sauce. Because so we're making a, a spaghetti? Spaghetti meatballs. All right. Spaghetti meatballs. Okay, what do we need? We need this Let one. me move this out of the way here. Yeah. Wait, let me just make sure that this adobo is okay. <laughs> ah. It's good. Oh, good job, bro. Yeah, I see good that. Good job, bro. That's great. Yeah? You want some? So, no. Okay. We're going to make meatballs. Okay, meatballs. Mm. And we're going to make red sauce at the same time. All right. Yeah. What do we need? So, Augie, I yeah. need that and all the meatball ingredients into here. All right. Okay. Right? We've got a pound of beef. Okay. Maybe uh, a cup of uh, small bread. One of the most important things. It softens it up, right? Half a bunch of parsley. Okay. A bunch of raw garlic. All right. Right? And then the secrets are Parmesan cheese in there. All right. Maybe quarter a cup. Quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Quarter cup of uh, ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese. Uh, Salt and pepper. Okay. Uh, yeah, crack some eggs in there. Two eggs to okay. be safe to hold it together. Right. Look at that. One hand, brother. Oh, yeah. look at you. Ah, look at that. Ah, ah, fancy, after, fancy. after six seasons, I learned how to do one. Egg. And then a bunch of olive oil. By the quarter, way, quarter cup of olive oil. Augie's doing a good job here, by the way. Yeah, right? of course. So what that he, gets mixed up. All right, olive oil. And then we're going to mix that up. Augie, you going to mix this yeah, up? Yeah, Augie, mix sure, that up. Not. That's fabulous. Go. i got to do something. Oh, I just dropped That's some right. salt here. OK. And uh, olive oil on two sides. So basically, right. you're going to mix all this to make, you're going to make just small little meatballs, right, for the spaghetti. Right. And the marinara right. sauce. Working on the sauce now. I'll take the tomatoes. Yeah. All right. So how many cans of tomato sauce do we have here? we got two cans of tomato sauce. OK. And some hot oil. All right. All right. And are you, are you using uh, just tomato sauce? Looks like you got some chunks of tomato in there. Yeah, I bought whole tomatoes. And whole we tomatoes. with our hand. All right. And then this is garlic. Okay. And uh, parsley and hot pepper. All right, we got right. some hot pepper so, for you right now. So How much parsley? Maybe half a bunch of uh, flat okay. leaf parsley I like and a little bit of fat. All right. In olive oil and then maybe a teaspoon of hot pepper. Not okay. too much because it's for we're cooking for kids up there. Of course. Now what do you think right? your biggest challenge is gonna be to try to get all the schools to do this? Well, it's just gonna take a team effort. Yeah. And and everybody moving together. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of agendas out there, but working together, it's possible to uh, We can't we can't keep giving our kids canned food, you know what I mean? We gotta go back to the basics, I think. And that's why I do this pilot project is so important because it helps uh, give a vision you know, for the farmers who are out there working hard. And, yeah. uh, you know, maybe one day we can take this pilot project, right, and get on a big plane and take off. 
There you Man, go. Every school is eating fresh. There you go. Lanai High School used to do this, you know. Cook from scratch? Oh, yeah. We used to get, I remember my, uh, we also, lunchtime, we would eat adobo. Lunchtime, we would have, you know, rice and brown rice and good, mm. healthy food, you know. All right, so we got that going. I what can else put do we the meatballs in there now. I got to wait for this yeah. to boil. Okay. And then thicken it with a little cornstarch. All right, when we go to break, we're going to put the meatballs in there and we're going to finish it up. And then when we come back, we're going to assemble all of this and uh, get together whatever you need to add to the uh, sauce. Yep. All right, so don't go anywhere. More with Cooking Hawaiian Style when we come back. This segment of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Anti Lilikoi and Salty Wahine. Aloha and welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. Got my brother Augie Tova. We got Chef Greg Christian here and we're uh, doing a pilot program. What are you calling the pilot program? It's a farm to school. All right, yeah. farm to school. And we, uh, we're making our marinara sauce here on the right. And uh, what do we got here? We Meat got the balls. tomatoes that we cooked in some olive oil. Okay. And then we're going to thicken this up. All right. With uh, a little cornstarch slurry. Okay. Maybe a couple tablespoons. You got to add that slow, right? All right. To boiling liquid. Okay. So it's going to be like more like a cream sauce. No, it's no? it's You're no just cream. Thickening it up. We're just thickening it okay. up a little bit so it's not too watery. Trying to make like I know something. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're trying to help, right? <laughs> well, you know, people always call me chef. I'm hey, not a chef. Listen, I'm just a cook. So long as you sound confident, that's yeah. all that matters. <laughs> right. yeah, no, I believe I'd work uh, for you. you, you, you yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, you give some, me a little meatball. Way smaller. Way smaller. Way smaller. Huh? Yeah, I, 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 go get them. <laughs> well, oh, help me. Yeah, we'll okay. That's fine. We'll do one big meatball. That's okay. Yeah, we're gonna just kind of flatten it. You never know. He used to work at the Olive Garden, huh? Yeah. No. Augie's impressive. Yeah. Augie, throw some pasta in here. some pasta? Yeah, please. We had pasta. some pre-made meatballs Oh, yeah, these here. are some pre-made meatballs that okay. we... Okay. So we're running... Yeah. Yeah. So you want to make them small. You don't want to do it Augie style. No, we this is some Samoy meatball. Here, we're, we're feeding kids. We're making hamburger over there. <laughs> 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 Let me taste this for, for a start. No, no, you know, the cool thing is, you know, it's a pilot program, like we were saying. Mm -hmm. And if people want more information about Farm to School, they can go to the Lieutenant Governor's website and just click on... Uh, Farm to School Initiative. How is the lieutenant governor? He's doing good. How come he never wants to come and see me? I heard he makes a pretty good chow fun. Well, let's, yeah. let's, yeah, come on, lieutenant <laughs> governor. All right, so we're just uh, putting the meatballs with the pasta here. What did yeah. you put in the pan first? Uh, the, Before the we garlic, went to break. The garlic parsley oil. Garlic parsley right. oil. All right, we're going to put the uh, ingredients put the on our meatballs, website. The cooked meatballs, right? A little bit of pasta. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put some that. sauce in there. All right, I'm going to turn this down. Yeah, you can leave it on high. On high, high. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, if you put them on high, it gets creamier. Okay. And <laughs> oh, it gets right. done quicker. That's right. all. It gets done yeah. quicker. <laughs> we're trying to get this creamy. Give me now some you, Parmesan. You know why he doesn't do any <laughs> cooking shows, huh? Right. Yeah, he had to bring you. I called him up and said, Augie, come do my cooking show. He goes, sure. I'll go bring some friends with me. Yeah, at least he showed up. Yeah, so you know. a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I don't know if you know, but we were married once. Yeah, I, I believe that. This yeah. is way before the law even passed. <laughs> oh. All right, so Parmesan cheese, what, half a cup? Yeah, half a all cup right. of Parmesan. That looks good, bro. A quarter cup that. of olive oil. We got the crispy. Are you Italian at all? Uh, half. Yeah? Yeah, half. That's done. All right. You know, what, what are you Hey, he gets the input from all the students yeah. and the family. So, like, you know, it's not just... He going in and going, hey, this is what we're going to cook. Yeah. He gets the input from everybody. And right. to watch him, you know, have to be humble. He got to go in there with some aunties. Not oh, just, of you course. Know, you're lucky is... you brought him with you. He <laughs> you're, you're like I... Dog the Bounty Hunter going into <laughs> Kalihi. You better grab somebody from Kalihi, you they, know what I mean? They love him. Oh, of course <laughs> they, love they him. do. Of course they do. And then... Uh, okay, I just put my meatball on your right. serving plate that's here. Right. Can I serve oh, this up now? Is that thing. okay? Oh, oh that looks look awesome. Look at that. Yeah, so then we got... What kind of pasta do we call this? Penne pasta. Penne. There's penne. all different kinds, right? So right. people all don't know their pastas. And a couple meatballs, right? I think this would be awesome in school. Yeah. They, they love it. We're serving yeah. it right now. There's a portion of pasta. There you go. Right? A little cheese. Right, a little cheese. There you go. A little parsley. Oh, look at that. All right. There you go. Go check out the website. What's the address? Uh, uh, go to the Lieutenant Governor's website, hit Farm to School Initiative, get all the information there. Again, maybe one day we can take this across the state. Yes, of course. And then what are you going to make next? We're going to do some fruit salsa, a little dessert with okay. cinnamon chips. All right. Don't go anywhere more with cooking Hawaiian style. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Midweek and Aloha Shoyu. 
Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. I got Mr. Augie Toba and I got Chef Greg Christian here and uh, they just made adobo sliders if you missed it. And uh, we also made a marinara uh, penne pasta with meatballs. That was awesome, bro. Thanks. That was really good, you know. Thanks. Yeah, for a Filipino guy, you make good pasta. Filipino pasta, bro. Yeah, what, do you, what you been up to? You got movies you know, and stuff going on now? I have one on Amazon Prime right now called Miss Summer's Hawaiian Dream. Miss Summer's Hawaii. Uh, Kuliana should be out in the next couple of weeks. Okay. And then uh, filming my ninth special, comedy special. Oh, look September at that. September 8th, come wow, on. He's doing so well. And I'm so proud of you, by the way. Okay, it, I never I'm get to tell you. him that, bro. Oh. Anyway, what are you making next, Chef? We're going to make some fruit salsa. Okay. With uh, chips rolled in cinnamon. All right, what are you going to cut? What are you going to do first? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is show people how to cut up a tortilla, right? right. So these are corn tortillas, fairly straight. You know, our director's from Mexico, and he's going to be uh, watching you closely on I'm, this. I, he already warned yeah. me. So you so cut these out. up, you put a little oil on them and okay. bake them. Okay. Right? Then you cut some fruit. All right. And you try to find fruit from uh, Hawaii. Of course. <laughs> so, well, you Wow, you just drive down the road. So I don't know if you know this, but a pineapple plant uh, can give fruit three times. It takes 15 months for a plant to give pineapple. And we have the best tasting pineapple in the world still today, even though we don't give it as much. See, you know, paid export. attention while living on Lanai. Yeah, I, I had to pick the thing, that's why. So you're just going to dice it up like uh, little dice, cubes. Just dice it up, take the skin off, right? Okay. Take your time so you don't, you know, sharp knives are helpful. I was on a pineapple farm in Maui. Uh huh. A Hawaiian gold. Oh, they're those. They're good. Good pineapple. Unbelievable. Remember Andy right? Bumatai used to tell the joke about pineapple? Yeah. What is this? Artichokes? <laughs> no, you don't eat the top. We have a lot of people now watching in, in Dubai and uh, all, every city in the U.S. No, if you're um, not going to replant, put them on your head. We yeah. make hat. <laughs> Australia. We want to thank all our viewers in the Philippines. Um, everyone's uh, watching all over now. So just dice up some pineapple, some mango. Yeah. Make sure it's ripe. And All whatever right. and whatever you have. Okay. Really? Any fruit. Any fruit. Yeah. Any okay. fruit. And then and then I'm gonna assemble this. Okay. Is that is that good? Yeah, let's assemble good. it. We got so, a big we got a bowl for you? Let's yeah, put it right over here so yeah. we can what see. What I'd like that. to do is have it already you know, pre done. Of so course. your sous chef did that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Augie is break. unbelievable knife work. I still amazing, don't know why he's here. Amazing hands. Yeah, I still don't know why. Yeah. But yeah, okay, he had to show you how to get here, huh? Well, he surprise visited us, remember? We didn't even <laughs> well, know yeah, he was yeah. coming. Thing, you know, we call us, so I had to make sure that my safety check was all good. <laughs> you know, registration was yeah. all solid. <laughs> all right, you know he's on parole, right? All right I do, so, I do. Some pineapple, ma mango. And oh. then uh, I'm going to take that bowl, loggy from okay. you. Okay. All right. Chop it right here. Nice bowls, boy. All right. You. And then we're going to just... some nice presentation. And then I like to just uh, put it in real gentle-like, right? So when you serve this at the school, are you going to do it the same way, do you think? I like to put are a little... Are you adding olive oil on Just there? a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a couple drops to shine it up. Okay. And we haven't served this at the school yet. Okay. I have to get permission for that. All right. And then I Augie, think I'll it, take I, that. I think yeah. this will pass. Right? And then yeah. this goes down like this. You know? yeah. And then here's the finished chips. Okay, let me move right. this out of the way so people can see this. Yeah, oh, I mean these man, chips, man. cinnamon, oh, look at sugar, that. right? Cinnamon, sugar. Chef, what were you doing before you uh, got involved with this guy here? Well, I've been working in school food for 10 years. Okay. And before that, I was a fancy chef in Chicago. Uh-huh. Making food for wealthier people. Yeah. Mm. So I've been cooking. Uh, 36 years. And now you're back in the hood. Now I'm back in the hood <laughs> and you know, trying to help change the way we feed kids in school. That's, right. That's awesome. That's you good. Know. What's the website again? You got to go to the Lieutenant Governor's website and hit Farm to School Initiative. Real this, simple. This is good, right? It is good. No, I already oh, are we feeding yeah. each other? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't seen okay. them in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, you no, go no, ahead. Help no. yourself. Yeah. I'm great. Yeah. Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got, uh, <laughs> what, are, what are we calling this? You have a name yet for this? Fruit salsa. Fruit salsa, ladies and gentlemen. Simple. We're gonna put all the ingredients on the website. It's really good. You gotta try it at home. Something simple for you. Um, when we come back, um, we're gonna talk story a little bit more, and we're gonna wrap up, and we're gonna taste some of the foods that we made earlier. We had the adobo slider. We had the uh, meatball pe uh, and penne it. pasta. Uh, so don't go anywhere. More with cooking Hawaiian style when we return. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style brought to you by Highway Inn and Crop Sticks. 
Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, the best part of the show. I get to taste all this wonderful food. Chef, before we do this, tell everybody what you made today. We made chicken adobo sliders uh -huh. with uh, papaya slaw. That's nice. Excellent. And you didn't use a green papaya, you used a almost ripe. Yeah, I, I go back and forth. Yeah, in so the, you can use both. You can use both. In the school, I use the green. Okay. Because that's what the ladies wanted to do. Yeah, plenty of fiber. Yeah. yeah and kids, and kids, <laughs> kids nowadays, we all need more fiber, and right? Priscilla and her team weren't here today, so I did what I wanted to do. Good, good. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. What else you got here? Uh, spaghetti, uh, a penne pasta with meatballs and a, a marinara sauce. Okay, and do you know your pastas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the penne is the one with the, the two. Right. With the little grooves and it holds the sauce much better, right? And some people call it mustacholi. Mustacholi. Yeah, yeah. That's how you have to say if it. If you're in Chicago, that's mustacholi. Mustacholi. You say right. penne, you get beat up. <laughs> and what do you make for dessert? Uh, a fruit salsa, papaya, mango, orange, and um, some cinnamon chips. All right. So what's next? If somebody's watching and you're going to go into their school, if they're a cafeteria lady, what do they need to know? How are we going to change the way we eat food in our schools? Well, they need to know that we want to know what they want to make and what the kids want to eat and that we're going to be cooking more from the raw states. Yes. And it just takes a little bit of practice because you have to use your knife a little more. Right. And, and, and instead of buying already bought meatballs, we're going to make meatballs. Well, basically, you stop being lazy. I mean, that's the <laughs> bottom line, right? Well, I, yeah, I would not... Yeah. It's okay, I'll say it. Yeah, no, <laughs> they get busted. these are hardworking people. No, I know, but I'm you know, not, not just them, I mean people in general. <laughs> we gotta stop being lazy. If you want to yeah. farm, we gotta farm. You can't complain about it. Right. You gotta get involved with it. All right. right. Augie, thanks for coming in. And thanks, man. Thanks for bringing Chef today. Yeah, of course. All right, next show? Next show, September 8th, Hawaii Theater, and every third Thursday, Ember Beach. Yeah, please. Please support him because he needs a new car. <laughs> All right? He can't, even, he can't even get a safety check done. We'll see you next Man. time Can on another guys? episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style. Check out the website and uh, Instagram and Facebook at Cooking Hawaiian Style. We'll see you next time. Ahui ho.